This is how Rome solved one of civilization's hardest problems. Before electricity, before steel, before pumps or pipes, how do you move water uphill? The answer, the aqueduct, a river built by hand, a highway for clean water, carved across mountains, valleys, and cities. The first Roman aqueduct was built in 312 BCE. By the time the empire reached its peak, they had over 500 miles of channels bringing millions of gallons of water to over a million people every day. No engines, no electricity, just gravity, stone, and genius. Aqueducts carried water from distant springs and mountains. They flowed underground, through tunnels and above ground, over towering arches, some still standing after 2,000 years. They fed fountains, baths, gardens, homes, public toilets, and even naval arenas. But aqueducts were more than infrastructure. They were propaganda. A symbol of Roman power, of order, of mastery over nature. Look what we can do, the arches said. We command water itself. The math behind them is stunning. Aqueducts were tilted ever so slightly, a drop of just 17 inches per mile in some cases. Too steep, and the flow would erode the stone. Too flat, and the water would stop. Perfect balance, perfect timing, a masterpiece of ancient engineering. Roman engineers invented tools to measure slope. They created waterproof cement, built inspection shafts, and even designed sediment traps to clean the flow. They thought of everything. The aqueduct gave Rome life, but also showed the world what humans could build with no electricity, just imagination, labor, and stone. Today we build with data and fiber and steel, but the arches still stand, quiet reminders that great design doesn't always need modern tools. Just a vision that dares to flow uphill.